Hey y'all, welcome back to Papa Creek Farm. So the pig search saga continues. Uh, I told you guys yesterday that our order of Idaho pasture pigs fell through. Um, no fault of the farmer, just was one of those things that happens. Um, so I searched and searched and I contacted, I called pretty much every breeder, um, every breeder in New York State and a few breeders in Pennsylvania. Um, I started on the list just so I could kind of narrow it down. I did find a couple. Um, so I found three that are actually ready to go. I could go get them today if I wanted to. Uh, unfortunately, we are not quite prepared to be getting pigs yet. Um, we need a little bit more time because we don't have the electric fencing set up. Um, we ended up, because we don't have electric back in this back field yet, uh, we ended up getting a solar energizer for now. This is just temporary um, because we do have a bigger energizer for on prickers. Uh, we do have a bigger energizer for when we actually run all the fencing. Um, this is just for inside the solid fencing, the electric fencing inside that. Uh, and it is snowing today right now. It's not a very nice day. Um, but because I found three, they're in Pennsylvania. They're about four and a half hours, which is the same distance as the other breeder that I was going to get them from originally. Um, we're going to get them in two weeks, put a deposit down so that she can, she will hold them. Um, they're, they're ready to go. Like I said, so she, they're guaranteed. <laughs> not, they're not, a they have to be born or anything. Um, so we're going to be back in the backfield today, working on finishing, getting this area set up. Um, the chickens have been in the pig run for a little bit, so they did muddy it up a little bit here. Uh, so we will, I'll probably seed, I'm going to bring seed back later today seed this. It's not going to take right away, but it'll be better than nothing. Um, they'll be in here training on this for a little while, and then once we get electric back here, we'll put them out in the summer pasture. Because even here, there's already some grass growing, and we'll continue to mow this down. This is seeded um, with a pasture mix, so hopefully this will even take hold even more. Um, we are going to still break this up into three sections, so we can still move them. So if they muddy this area up even more, we can move them. Um, we're going to get all the pig huts where they need to be so that they're not just in the way I, um, in here. And that's kind of where we're at right now. We're going to get everything set up. Electric fencing inside of this fencing done. Um, we're going to use a hog panel for a gate here. And get all that done today, hopefully. So, let's go. Alright guys, so it was snowing horribly this morning while we were out here working. Um, we still have work to do, but... I couldn't really film because it was snowing so hard. It was like, I mean, the ground was covered for a little while, and it's warm enough that it's not really sticking um, long term. So this dog kennel is going to move. But we put all the insulators around the outside. We've moved all the hutches. They will all face this way. Um, so these are three different, we call them, these, this is the winter pasture because it's inside a solid fence. And the fencing, the posts are all set up for the um, pasture, for the summer pasture. It's seeded. I seeded in here. We extended the chicken area so they're out of here um, because obviously we're getting pigs in two weeks. Um, we have to, now we're going to run all the electric wire on the inside of this. Um, and that's all we're going to do today is electric wire on the inside of this, electric wire. So we're dividing this winter area. We're going to divide this winter area into three different um, paddocks so that if, I mean, you already see it's kind of muddy back here just because we had mowed this and this is just weeds. Um, there's not really grass growing yet and it's been really wet. So they'll probably mud this up quite a bit, um, but we'll let that win that summer pasture grow out until it's grown pretty well and we won't put them on it until um, it's finished. So that's the progress. We're gonna get, we'll get this electric fence done today. All right, so the pig area is ready for pigs. Um, we haven't done the summer pasture, but the winter area, which is the area they're gonna be in initially, is ready. So this is the gate. It is a half of a 16 foot hog panel. Uh, I wanted an eight foot one, but they didn't have any in stock. Um, so we just cut it and we'll use the other part. I wanted a gate originally, like a nicer gate, but they're all on rain check. Um, there's none that have, we would have had to get a hog panel anyways and put it on, because none of them had the smaller um, openings for piglets. So we've got, um, handles here that we can get in, you know, if we need to move the pegs or get in and out with anything. So here's the first one, the first area. Um, they're all about 30 by 40 is what these areas are. 
one hut. And then again, we've got handles over here to be able to allow them to go into the next one and same for the next one. So that is all done and we are ready. All we need to get now um, is straw for the bedding, which is easy to get and feed and then the pigs. And I think that's it. Um, we do need a grounding rod. That's one last thing that we needed. Uh, tractor supply only had the eight foot ones and I had my car. I didn't think I was going to fit an eight foot grounding rod at my car. Uh, I was hoping for a six foot one. So we'll get it. Um, I have the truck all week. I'm off this week. So I'll be able to pick it up. And this will be able to be hot. It is solar. Uh, for now, we'll have a normal energizer back here eventually. But right now, we'll use the solar until we can get power back here until it dries up enough that we can actually run an excavator from the house back here. Um, so I'm so excited. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I found three feeders through down in Pennsylvania. I already put a deposit down, so I am getting those three. Um, and then I'm still hoping to get two more this spring. They'll be later than which are like February, March of next year. Um, because I'm not going to have any board on my property until next summer. So it'll be a long time before I actually can um, raise any more out for myself. Um, so I'm hoping to get five feeders total this spring. But again, not the other batch will be later um, if we do end up getting them for sure. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'm happy to say it's better news than yesterday's video. Please like and subscribe, guys, and join me on the next one.